The bus smelled of mildew, machine oil, and sweat. As the suburban Atlanta sprawl disappeared behind us, I tapped my foot on the floor and chewed a lock of my newly long hair. A nagging voice reminded me that I was only a half hour from home, that if I got off at the next stop and walked back to Smyrna, by sunset I could be in the comfort of my own bedroom, the familiar smell of mom's starchy cooking in the air. She would hug me and we would sit down and watch awful reality TV shows together, and she would fall asleep halfway through, and then nothing would change. But something had to change, because I had changed. As I stared out at the swiftly moving trees, my mind was in a mall bathroom back in the city, the images shifting and jumbling like a kaleidoscope. A girl from my school, her scream as she recognized me, her father rushing in, his rough, swift hands on my neck and shoulders, my body hitting the ground. You okay? A voice practically screamed in my ear. I looked up to see a guy wearing earbuds, his chin resting on the back of the seat in front of me. He gave me a lopsided smile as he pulled out the headphones. Sorry. It's fine, I said. He stared at me, drumming his fingers on the headrest. I felt like I should say something, but I didn't trust my voice not to give me away. Where are you headed? He draped himself across the back of his seat like a cat, his arms nearly grazing my shins. I wished I could roll up into a tiny armored ball and hide in my luggage. Lambertville, I said quietly. Up in Hecate County? I'm going to Knoxville, he said, before going on to talk about his band, Gnosis Crank. I realized he'd only asked about me as a formality so he could talk about himself, but I didn't mind. It meant I didn't have to say that much. He told me about playing their first paying gig at a bar in Five Points. Cool, I said. Most of our songs are online if you want to check them out. I will. How'd you get that black eye, by the way? I, was it your boyfriend? He asked. My cheeks burned. He scratched his chin. He assumed I had a boyfriend. He assumed I was a girl. Under different circumstances, that would have thrilled me. I fell down, I said. His smile turned sad. That's what my mom used to tell the neighbors, he said. She deserved better, and so do you. Okay. Okay.